Bemid Bar Numbers 33. These are the journeys of the children of Yasharael, which went forth out of the land of Mitzrayim with their armies under the hand of Moshe and Aharon. And Moshe wrote at their goings out according to their journeys by the commandment of Yahuwah. And these are their journeys according to their goings out. And they departed from Ra'amasek in the first month, on the fifteenth day of the first month, on the morrow after the Pikach, the children of Yasharael went out with a high hand in the sight of all the Mitzrim. For the Mitzrim buried all their firstborn, at which Yahuwah had smitten among them upon their Elohim. Also Yahuwah executed judgments. And the children of Yasharael removed from Ra'amasek and pitched in Kukoth. And they departed from Kukoth and pitched in Itam, which is in the edge of the wilderness. And they removed from Itam and turned again unto Pihai Chiroth, which is before Baal Saphon. And they pitched before Migdal. And they departed from before P. Hai Cheroth and passed through the midst of the sea into the wilderness and went three days' journey in the wilderness of Itam and pitched in Mara. And they removed from Mara and came unto Elim. And in Elim were twelve fountains of water and threescore and ten palm trees. And they pitched there. And they removed from Elim and encamped by the Red Sea. And they removed from the Red Sea and encamped in the wilderness of Sin. And they took their journey out of the wilderness of Sin and encamped in Dovka. And they departed from Dovka and encamped in Alush. And they removed from Alush and encamped at Rephidim, where was no water for the people to drink. And they departed from Rephidim and pitched in the wilderness of Sinai. And they removed from the desert of Sinai and pitched at Kurat Hat Ta'ava. And they departed from Kivrat Hat Ta'ava and encamped at Chatzurath. And they departed from Chatzurath and pitched in Ritma. And they departed from Ritma and pitched at Riman Peretz. And they departed from Riman Peretz and pitched in Livna. And they removed from Livna and pitched at Reka. And they journeyed from Reka and pitched in Kehelethan, rather Kehelethaha. And they went from Kehelethaha and pitched in Mount Shefer. And they removed from Mount Shefer and encamped in Charada. And they removed from Charada and pitched in Makilath. And they removed from Makilath and encamped at Tekath. And they departed from Tekath and pitched at Terach. And they removed from Terach, rather Terach, and pitched in Mitaka, rather Mitka. And they went from Mitka and pitched in Chashmana. And they departed from Chashmana and encamped at Moserath. And they departed from Moserath and pitched in Bene Ya'akan. And they removed from Bene Yaakan and encamped at Chorhag Gidgad, rather Chorhag Gidgad. And they went from Chorhag Gidgag and pitched in Yatvatha. And they removed from Yatvatha and encamped at Ebrana. And they departed from Ebrana and encamped at Etzion 
Gever. And they removed from Etzion Gever and pitched in the wilderness of Tzin, which is Kadesh. And they removed from Kadesh and pitched in Mount Hor, in the edge of the land of Edom. And Aharon the priest went up into Mount Hor at the commandment of Yahuwah and died there in the fort. Fortieth year after the children of Yashadael were come out of the land of Mitzrayim in the first day of the fifth month. And Aharon was a hundred and twenty and three years old when he died in Mount Hor. And King Arad the Kenaani, which dwelt in the Negev, in the land of Canaan, heard of the coming of the children of Yashadael. And they departed from Mount Hor and pitched in Salmana, and they departed from Salmana and pitched in Punan, and they departed from Punan and pitched in Ovath, and they departed from Ovath and pitched in Aye Ha Avarim, in the border of Moab, and they departed from Aim and pitched in Divina, rather Divan. And they removed from Divan and encamped in Alman Divlathaima. And they removed from Alman Divlathaima and pitched in the mountains of Arav, Avarim before Nevu. And they departed from the mountains of Avarim, rather of Avarim, and pitched in the plains of Moab by the Ardan near Yariko. And they pitched by the Yardan from Beit Ha Yeshmiath, rather from Beit Ha Yeshimoth, unto, rather even unto Evel Hash Shittim in the plains of Moab. And Yahuwah spoke unto El Moshe in the plains of Moab by the Yardan near Yariko, saying, Speak unto the children of Yashadael. And say unto them, When ye are passed over at the Yardan into the land of Canaan, then ye shall drive out at all the inhabitants of the land from before you, and destroy at all their pictures, and destroy at all their molten images, and quite pluck down at all their high places. And ye shall dispossess at the inhabitants of the land, and dwell therein, for I have given you at the land to possess it. And ye shall divide at the land by, a, by lot for an inheritance among your families, and to the more ye shall give at the more inheritance, and to the fewer ye shall give at the less inheritance. Every man's inheritance shall be in the place where his lot falls. According to the tribes of your fathers ye shall inherit. But... If ye will not drive out at the inhabitants of the land from before you, then it shall come to pass that those which ye let remain of them shall be pricks in your eyes and thorns in your sides and shall vex you in the land wherein ye dwell. Moreover, it shall come to pass that I shall do unto you as I thought to do unto them.